Good morning, Blade and Simple fans. Teddy here, coming to you from El Salvador. Um, gonna do a really quick video. Uh, it's gonna be a two-part video. I'm gonna do my initial review. Then I'm gonna get this product back to the bush, beat on it a little bit. Again, I've used this quite a bit. Quite a bit I've used this knife, and this thing's a monster. So we're gonna get back to the bush, we're gonna do some beating on it, and do a second part to this video. So this is my preliminary video. Anyway, just here, my usual smoking spot next to my jungle. As you can see, having these little hand rolls. These are actually really good. Inexpensive, you get a pack of 15 for two bucks. It's more, um, it's pure cigar tobacco, pure tobacco. It's more Habano-esque, I would believe, not Habano, more sun grown. So you get the Habano flavors, some of the Habano flavors, that creaminess, that pepper, but you also get a bit of espresso, a little bit of cocoa. It's beautiful. Decent draw. My everyday smoke here. As you can see, they're really rustically rolled. They're rolled like, I don't wanna say, but the flavor's good. Anyway, let's get into this. Condor Aatrox. As you can see right there, there's a lot of wear and tear on this knife. A lot of wear and tear. I've managed to maintain it properly. As I always say, keep them oiled, keep them sharp. Oh, 11 inch blade. 11 inch blade, unsharpened swedge, harpoon fighter style. I would say it's a harpoon fighter style blade. You have a bit of a choil here, which I found is beautiful for striking a ferrocium rod because this is tapered. So it's great at striking a ferrocium rod. It's almost a seven inch handle. It's a big handle. Overall package, 18, just over 18 inches. Very long blade long blade weight total package weight with the sheath 28 out 28 to 29 ounces so it's hefty um 15 inch a 15 degree not 15 inch pardon me a 15 degree bevel convex condor convex the spine you can't throw a ferrocene rod with this you can't spark a, you can't strike a ferrocene rod with it it's not the sharpest, but it will do the job. You can use this right here to strike your ferrocene rod. It will fit most ferrocene rods. Nice rounded handle, rounded off, squared, squared handle, squared off, rounded edges, no sharp edges anywhere. Condor, typical condor, those through pins where you could tie your lanyard hole, you could tie a lanyard do any one of these if you so choose nice uh, hook towards the back really locks your hand in so this thing doesn't go flying out because at almost over a pound it's a lot of blade to swing the thickness is 0 0.18 or 4.5 mil I believe if I'm wrong let me know distal taper nice distal taper tapers down to a very acute, very fine tip. I was worried about breaking this tip. I batoned with this, I, uh, I took down a banana tree with this, and no problem. Just busted right through it. It's an amazing blade. I have one critique over this right here. I believe it's too thin. It's almost as thick as it is wide. So your finger tends to want to roll, your hand tends to want to roll in this. So Condor, if you redo this, thicken this a little bit. I like the two-tone micarta, brown and the black. I believe it's a canvas micarta. So the brown and black canvas micarta. Um, I've heard concerns about the canvas, break, the, the micarta breaking because of the two-tone. I haven't noticed that, and I've beat on this thing. I've religiously beat on it, and no problem whatsoever. The sheath, 
Nice Kydex sheet. Great retention. Leather and Kydex. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, as you can see right there, there's a Condor on the front and on the back, stamped proudly El Salvador. It even says Condor on the buttons, if you can, if you guys can see that. It says Condor right on the buttons. It's a nice touch. Thick, very thick, sturdy leather. Thick, sturdy leather. Nice stitching. A lot of lashing points. So you could tie this to a pack if you want. You just go through, take some power cord, put it through these eyelets and lash it to a pack. You can also undo these snaps, but I choose not to. They're a pain in the, to get out and to put back. So because of the thickness and the leather and the, how heavy duty these snaps are, they're hard to get off and they're a pain in the butt to get back on. So. I just leave it. As I said, overall weight, 29 ounces, which makes this a hefty blade to carry. So there's my preliminary review. What do I think of it? I love it. I love it. It's a, a good chopper. It's a decent chopper. It's a decent bushcraft blade. It will re not it will not replace an axe. It will not replace a machete. But well, what it will do is do a damn good job of coming close. So if you're looking for a big knife, something that you can carry into the bush, I would highly recommend this. It does the job. The edge retention is amazing. Um, it's 1075, which means, guys, it will rust. It will rust. So oil your blades, take care of your blades. If you live in a humid environment as I do, you don't want to keep these oils, you're going to want to maintain them because that 1075 will rust on you quicker than you can even blink an eye. So take care of your blades, guys. So that's my preliminary review. Condo Aatrox, love it. Price, about 150 bucks US. I'm sure you can find it cheaper other places. Just search around the web you can check blade hq you can check knife center you can check you guys got your own sources you got your own knife knife sources you go to look them look out for them guaranteed you're gonna love this blade so that's my preliminary review i'm gonna get this back to the bush so the next video you see of this next video this is gonna be in the bush and we're gonna see how it does. So remember, keep it sharp, keep it oiled, keep it safe. Take care of your blades, guys. They're gonna be there when you need them.